Let's run it back with the 1992 Air Flight Hirachi. Released in 1992, the Air Flight Hirachi, one of the very first shoes to incorporate the Hirachi booty in a basketball shoe. Coming off the coattails of the 1991-1992 Air Hirachi run, Tinker Hatfield and young new designer Eric Avar came together to create the Air Flight Hirachi using the Hirachi technology from the running series and incorporating it into basketball. If you don't know what the Hirachi technology is, Basically, it's an inner booty that would hug your foot inside your shoe, which helps uh, keep your foot locked down during athletic uh, activity. When Tinker Hatfield first came up with the Hirachi technology, he was out and watching people water ski, and he saw in the boot that they were wearing had that inner sleeve inside the boot, which kept their foot locked down while skiing. And he thought, why don't we incorporate that technology into a running shoe? And that's how the Hirachi was created. If you didn't know where the word Hirachi came from, it came from an ancient Mayan civilization. And the name Hirachi was the name for their laceless sandal that they used to wear in that time. As the Air Flight Hirachi design process was coming about, they kind of tweaked the original Hirachi run into a basketball shoe. If you see that the... Uh, designs are very similar with the with the heel tabs and the shape of the shoe. The body of the shoe is higher, or the body of the booty is higher than the run version. But the, the outer skeleton of the upper is quite similar, but different in ways. As you could see, the ankle supports are hollow. Um, this was a pretty big step for Nike to do, as this is one of the first models you'd see this hollow uh, ankle support as it has never been done before and after this it was also incorporated into the Air Jordan 7 also using the Hirachi booty technology. What's the biggest difference is the midsole. So in the basketball version of the Air Hirachi the midsole is a little bit different than the running midsole as you had a full polyurethane upper with an encapsulated air in the heel as well as in the front, I believe, on the original 1992. But in the basketball version, you have a harder midsole with the encapsulated air unit in the heel, and the upper comes up more rugged across the side. This helps your foot from rolling uh, while playing basketball. And an interesting design on the sole with your herringbone traction throughout the sole of the shoe. So in 1992, the Air Flight Hirachi was one of the first models that really went out of the box in terms of design, which probably led to the design of a lot of different shoes after this, such as the Air Penny 4, the Air Jordan 11, and so on and so on. This was probably the grandfather to all the new funky models that you see today. One of the first players to wear the Air Flight Hirachi was the full team at the University of Michigan, also known as the Fab Five, Fab Five basketball team, which consisted of Chris Weber, uh, Jalen Rose, etc., etc. Also in 1992, you could see a few players in the 1992 Dream Team wear this shoe, such as Christian Leighton. Also, this shoe is kind of plugged to Scottie Pippen, but he doesn't really wear it a lot on court back in 1992, as he had the Air Flight Mid during the 1992 Olympics. And when he came back from the Olympics, I believe they went to a new model of Hirachi called the Dynamic Flight, which was the Dynamic Flight System, which also incorporated Air Flight Hirachi technology. 
and one of the Air Flight series that I would not mind a retro release come back. Now we've had a few retros over the years come back at Air Flight Hirachi. This model color has come back a few times and the original white and purple have come back. But every time they have come back, they have messed up the one thing that I always complain about over retro sneakers. And they have screwed up the toe box. So hopefully the new 2022-2023 release of the Air Flight Hirachi will improve the shape of the shoe and come back to that original streamlined shape and that beautiful toe box. The one in my hand is an original from 1992, which is completely dead stock. It is brand new, never worn. Unfortunately, it's a size three, size three youth. It is quite wearable still, 100% not crumbling, wearable. Still has the original shape. Uh, if you can look at the toe, look at the body of that shoe. Beautiful shape on the original, and I hope, this is a children's one, but I hope even the men's version looks as good as this children's one. I hope this colorway bit comes back as I am a fan of the black one as well. I really like some of these concepts. I've seen uh, one of the original uh, sample concept drawings of the original Hirachi. I really like some of these colors and I wouldn't mind Nike if you want to bring some of these back. That'd be great as well. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. If you have any comments, make sure you put it below in the uh, comments. Let me know how I'm doing. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And also, if you enjoy uh, retro sneakers and throwback to the 90s stuff, uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Foresight23. And until next time...